What's up, fuckers? We're back at it. Give me a high five for that one. All right, cool. What the fuck? <laughs> You're so no, vulgar. That's true. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? Say that again. One more time for my snack. He said, I said, I said, you'll lose a lot of money chasing yeah. women, okay. but you'll never lose women chasing money. Oof. And that's on my day. So, I've never been friend zone, so. I can't really. That was Pete? Oh. So, I can't really say anything about, like, you know, being in it, but I'm not the type of person that a purposely, like, bluntly put somebody in the friend zone be like i don't like you you're just my friend i just ease it that way like you just send kind of hints you know act like you're not trying to like you know it is very true though are you done lying <laughs> hell yeah i've been a friend zone my whole life um <laughs> got put in the friend zone well okay so i got put in the friend zone one time i got a kiss from this girl it thought everything like, I ain't gonna lie, I got this one kiss from her, and I, I was like, maybe this means I'm not in the friend zone no more. The following week later, she told me about how she had a boyfriend. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, like I said before, Hello? Um, if she puts me in the friend zone, she's no longer, she's not my friend, so it's no friend zone. It's just, she just curved me, because we're not gonna be friends after you curve me. After. When it has to come to the friend zone, I don't know, I get curved all the fucking time, so. <laughs> Never been in the friend zone. I bet you put a hell of people in the friend zone. I have, like, boom, 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 everybody not, goes in the not. friend zone. Some of the girls I was messing with, elementary school, middle school, high school, I just been in the friend zone. Shit was hard, but you know you gotta deal with it. Um, but ain't no such thing as no friend zone, though, because I get curved. I'm probably not. That shit probably dead. We ain't talking no more. That shit dead. Are my standards too high? Am I shooting too far, you think? There's nothing wrong with that last there's nothing wrong with that. Well, either way, I'm setting myself up for failure. Man, dating in the AUC. I know this dude that talked to his other dude girlfriend, so. <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel like everybody, you can do whatever you want to do. But sometimes, for what I'm saying, it's not a good idea because everyone aiming for the same person, then getting mad when they know that they're aiming for the same person. So it's like, it's not a surprise. Don't, don't act like you're the only one when you know the bitch over there on this campus one too. It's hard because, like, most of the girls are usually friends with somebody you talked to last year even before that. So you got to be careful. You got to go into different circles if you want a new girl. Hey, you see the no-no. Don't even do it. You know what I mean? Just mess with you going to mess with. Don't, um... I wouldn't I do, do it. I mean, in college is time for fun. I, I wouldn't really engage in a relationship. AUC is like a high school, you know, everybody knows everybody. Honestly, way too people, way too many people know each other. It's like a big ass high school, in all honesty. Like, it's three schools, really one big ass school. Like, you having a girlfriend means nothing to anybody. I'm just being honest. I'm not gonna say that. It low key do. To who? I mean, the AUC is big, but at the same time, it's small. Like, it's small. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because, like you said, like, everybody knows everybody feel like so. I don't know. Dating in the AUC, that shit's tough. I feel like just go after who you want and be honest. And then, like, yeah, be honest and go from there. The AUC is um, definitely something. Um, it can either go really well or really poorly, and when it goes really poorly, um, you might learn something about yourself that you don't want to. I'm sorry it's getting so dark right now, but this, you asked my feelings. That's, that's literally the politics of dating the AUC. Ten other niggas won't show girlfriend. You make one move, bro. She, instead of going to Purdue every night, now she going to the suites. She might be in Broadway at Clark. Dating. How are you making us seem like a hoe? I'm not making him seem like a hoe. It's just like, it's the same thing with the girls too. Like, 10 other women won't show nigga. It's that simple. So now, instead of going to Brawley, now he in LLC2, or now he in all the other domes that they got around this mug. What does that mean? Like I said, I get curved all the time. Um, I might as well be a fucking obtuse angle at this point. <laughs> um, curved plenty of times throughout my whole college life. Um, shit, it's life. Shit, I don't even know how to um, react. I mean, have I ever been curved? Yes. Uh, I mean, we all been we all been there. 
I got no. curved the worst way. <laughs> Wait, how you how you got curved? But I got curved the worst way. Okay. All right, so like, if I see a girl I kind of want, it's easy to walk up to her and talk to her. But if I see a girl like I really like need her, like I, yeah. like I want you, like I don't know how to go about it. So like I'll be dumb weird. So like I did one of my weird things and she just <laughs> I asked her on a date. I pl I, I uh, planned it out. I was like, I just I'm gonna ask her and I DM'd her. Cause I like never saw her. She just read that guy. <laughs> I thought something was wrong with my phone, so I turned it off, turned it back on. <laughs> Still yeah, said red. Still said yeah, red. No, that I mean, it, that's what happens. I mean, if you're going to shoot your shot, you got to know that there's a chance of you getting curved, and sometimes it hurts, and sometimes you don't care. Most of the time, I don't care. Um, no offense, but like I said, maybe it's my high standards, but fuck it. I'm just going to have to get taller. <laughs> I don't like doing it because it, it, it really, I know how it feels to get curved, and I don't like that feeling, mm -hmm. but I feel like at the end of the day, you got to be honest. Like, you want somebody, curve them. Yeah. Curve them. Yeah. I just feel like you have to play it smart. Like, if you know, you got to think before you try to shoot your shot so you won't get curved. Like what we were saying? Like, you got to see if the dude like you back. And if he don't show any attraction, you know, don't try to shoot the shot. So, like there's a time and place to curse somebody, you know, you could exchange numbers and be like, yeah, no, but but G shit though, it's really not gonna go anywhere. We were supposed to be forever. Done one thing, because nobody really deserves that effort of romantic shit. So it was back in high school. I was in a relationship. One year anniversary, I did a little thing where like you had a little cute jar or whatever. And I had like 365 things that I loved about him. Loved about him. I had 365 things. But like, yeah, that was the only thing that I've done. And it was too much effort and work to put in. So like, I've never done it again. All right, I was a senior in high school. I had this girl that I really liked. My homeboys didn't even know about it because it was way too sappy, but I didn't care. It was for her. <laughs> I took her on a rooftop of this restaurant. It's like a restaurant, but it's on like the, it's in, it's in uh, Atlanta. It's, it's in Atlanta. But you go on the rooftop and you eat dinner. And my uncle works for a blimp company. And I had, it was like an anniversary. And I had, I had, I love you, blank. Yeah, right. And we just hugged for like a good 10 minutes, but that was like <laughs> top notch. But uh, go ahead, I got another one too. Probably ate her ass. No, I'm oh. fucking around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I bought a girl some roses and I wrote a poem for her. Well, I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to though. Oh, maybe on some real shit, like, I don't know. You ever, like, you ever been so in love with somebody that you change some shit about yourself? Yeah. Oh. I don't know, just something in general that you change about yourself? Oh, fuck him, where that nose ring? No, but sometimes, sometimes you change for people and it, and it fucks you over. But it's fine. I don't know, other than romantic, I don't really know. I'm kind of a bum. <laughs> so. I don't have connections. <laughs> yeah, that's the best of money. I'll call it right now. Oh no, I'm not here. Uh, I ain't never had connects like that. So, you know, <laughs> I just have to be creative, like, with my own. So, it was actually when I asked this girl to prom. I was a junior. She was a senior. Smooth. And... You know, I made sure her car was unlocked and everything. And basically what I did was I had like a big poster and wrote, where you go to prom with me? And she didn't know who it was, but she expected, you know, group. Yeah, and then I had like a bouquet of roses just sitting on her dashboard. But then I got a bunch of the flowers and tore off the petals, blew up balloons, and then had like chocolates and rose petals in the balloons. And then some of the balloons had like a car with the M, a car with the A, and then the an R and the K. She had to keep popping them. Some of them just had roses and chocolates. Some of them had roses started there. <laughs> Bro, it's a, I'm not gonna lie, it was it was a long part. I was over here thinking it was gonna take like, you know, like an hour to not gonna lie, it took me like two and a half hours and I had like four people helping me. <laughs> so never again will I do that. So she should feel special as hell. If you see this, you're still special. Bob bought a rose that shit was corny, but it was romantic though.
Go ahead, Bree, since you never, um, you never got curved, so I want to go ahead and hear your, uh, your form. You have to have a strategy, you know. You know, like when you're shooting your shot, you gotta go through practice, conditioning, workouts, all of that before you make that one shot. So you gotta mm -hmm. make sure that shot is special, okay? Mm -hmm. That's why you have to wait it out. You gotta make sure that shit's a dunk. I've never had. Because I'm not the one, I'm, that's just me, like, I'm not the you one never had to. No bad No. Like, I've never, because I barely shoot my shot. I barely shoot my shot, so when I do it, I mean, like, it was worth it. Okay. Shit, I mean, every shot you take, you ain't gonna make it. Woo! You go first. I'm not going first. Bend your knees, step into it, and just follow through. I mean, <laughs> seven years out. You gotta, when you shoot your shot, like, you gotta be used to shooting your shot, but it can't be like a, you can't be like Kobe in his last game shooting like 50 shots. Like, yeah, like, you could take that approach because he shot like 40 shots, but he did drop 60. He shot 50 shots. Okay, 50 shots, but he dropped 60 still. Me, he won. I'd rather, I'd rather, you know, be like 10 for 13 from the field. It feels I'll be very selective with. Can you be you literal? Just say it. I don't Just know. Be very, very, very specific with when you shoot your shot. Yeah. But when you shoot it, make sure it's like a sure thing, in a sense. When I'm gonna shoot my shot, you know, kind of depends. If I know that you're kind of farther away, I'm a DM you. Um, you know, most girls don't like DM unless you looking like whoever these girls like, looking like Chris Brown or some shit like that. But you gotta approach them in, per in person. And I'ma um, spend my best game depending on who you is. I just shot. contradicted the hell out of myself. I don't know what you just said. All right, basically, shoot your shot, be confident, but don't shoot it often. But shoot it often when you feel like you got the chance to shoot it. Imagine it being just you on your team, right? And you're on a basketball court, right? <laughs> and on the other team, five Shaquille O'Neal's. <laughs> and you gotta lay it up. That's what it's, <laughs> nah. That's what it's like. It's like, it's a, yeah, it's a shot. But like I said, I get curved and I fucking, he's fucking swats that ball a lot. But see, sometimes when I do get it in, I fuck it up and ruin it and the ball sometimes scare the shit out of me. I'm not good at the whole shooting shot thing because it's like, I'm weird with it. So I'll just see you and be like, I'll just tell you. Like, I'm kind of blunt with it. Like, or you'll know I ask me. <laughs> Wait, so you'll hit I don't girl, ask girls well, on dates. Hit a girl, I don't like, really ask you? girls on dates. But when I okay. do, just know you're important because I never do that. <laughs> don't, I just don't do it anymore because I never do it right. But if you want to shoot a shot at me, work. my fucking Twitter's down there. If you want me to love you unconditionally for a month or two and then fuck it up somehow, come on. Don't curve them. That's really depressing. Don't do that. Don't hit me up. <laughs> I'll clown your ass. <laughs> <laughs>